Lewis Roller. Fucking looking like a beetle. Gave up on uh, having a haircut, didn't I? You know what I mean? Call me Buffon Bob. You know what I mean? John Lennon over here. Smoking on a cigarello, which you never see me doing, but seeing as though I'm, I'm out of my fucking the zone, the green zone, as they call it. I used to smoke because it was there, do you know what I mean? In abundance, 140 an ounce. That's what man paid. On a good day, you know what I mean? Bad day, 160. But now nah, I'm coming down here. Fuckers are over trying to sell me at 30 pound three five or ten pound a gram, and it's probably a point eighter. And I put that in a fucking joint. Insult. Speaking of letting my hair go along, I think that might have something to do with it. You know what I mean? Moved away from the hometown and started doing some fucking weird grebo shit. Uh, it's all right though, because I've got the tricks down, man. I'm not rolling around on that thing like a goon. Still windy as fuck down this place as well, man. Windy, bro. So, where I'm from, we have hills. We have places to hide, man, from the wind. Fucking Lincolnshire, bro. They got wind for days. No haze. You know, I was moaning about amnesia haze the other week. Fucking. I wish that I could fucking wake up with my amnesia haze. Do you know what I mean? Ain't it? Jesus. No paint shop in Lincoln, bro. I thought I was gonna come down here. It's gonna be sweet as fuck. There's gonna be a little shop where I could go get my paint. I'd, I'd meet a weird deal on the first day. I did, but it's some youth that's just trying to sell me for ten bags. And I ain't about that large man. I'd rather not smoke the shit. Fucking one one forty an ounce to two eighty an ounce. Like no. It's like because all that means is that I'm gonna be smoking it like a stingy cunt. And I'd, if I have to go to smoking. Point five joint. Who the fuck smokes? 2019. I ain't doing that shit. I'd rather not smoke. Simple. So man needs to start grooming a bit better. I just sparked my cigarello up, and I swear I can smell burning hair. I think what happened was as I torched it, the flames tickled my nose and burnt some of them nose hairs off, man. Jesus Christ. You ever had a hair in your spliff before? I was around my mate at Jim Bones as a kid and he had a fucking big hairy dog man. It weren't like one of the shit ones, like a husky or not. It was a, I think Newfoundland or something, you know, the black and white sheep dog things. Yeah, it had hairs for days and like, we put some weed out on the side. I think I might have tapped it out of the grinder onto the side and, uh, Bited it up, I'm smoking. It's like, yo, does that taste like smoky bacon, Chris? To you, bro. So I passed it in. It's like, yeah, man. Taste like smoky bacon, fucking walkers. That's what I'm smelling right now, but <laughs> I can't get it gone over because it's up my nostril. You know what I mean? Fucking stinks. Just letting you check the usage right here on the old Pascat board. You know what I mean? It's about four days old right here. I'm just showing, look, I didn't get the thing just to stand around and you know how people have a deck and they have the shit for months but yeah, it's that is pristine, it's like, no oh, if I'm honest, yeah, I might be dragging it down the rail a couple of times and have to scuff it up, make it look like I'm not as amateurish as I am but, you know, it's, that's what I need to do, fucking sandblast that pigeon off people think that I'm actually doing shit then Yo, what's popping, brother? Oh, I'm just at the fucking car wash, you know how it goes. At the car wash. <laughs> I wish it was like that. Grafting your ass off for the man, then you're a wrong one. Because people who, you know, I used to work at a factory, people run round yeah. and shit trying to get the highest rate. So they yeah, set the bar yeah. too high, man. Yeah, I just fuck, all I do is, uh, you know, I, mean, I save my job a lot of money because I'm like a fucking miser. Turn that fucking thing off. <laughs> That's why you're fucking running the place, bro. So yeah. what, it, on that day that you were sat there sweating buckets, that was a choice? You could have put air con on? No, no, that was before we got the air con. Ah. Uh, I just don't put it on unless it's above like, 
Uh, I don't know your funny Celsius numbers. Unless it's above like 80 degrees. The fuck does that mean? Need to go into the degrees and technicalities, bro. I like to know the technicalities of degrees. Yeah, I do a lot of stats to be fair, man. I was saying the other day, it'd be, it'd be sick if you had a lot of stats for yourself in real life, wouldn't it? I knew them, man. Something to do out in the streets, man. I feel like I'm too old to skateboard now. I feel like I've left it too long. Um, yeah, if you've not got any, like, base skills by now. Well, I, I like longboard. I have a really nice longboard. Well, if you can ride the fucker, then that's it, man. It's just, yeah. I wouldn't like to be seen not being able to push on a skateboard at 23. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That'd be embarrassing. I just can't do any cool jumps or anything. So I feel like, you know, I should have said that. Well, that all comes, bro. To be fair, you just want to be good at riding the fucking board first. I think a lot of people try and do all tricks when they ain't even comfortable standing on the thing, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can do, like, the cool, like, slides and stuff. That's pretty fucking... Is this guy honking at me? Does he have the unmitigated goal? Oh, the fuck? Alright, neutral, no brakes. One sec, Matt, I've got a phone call. Phone call, man. So I gotta rush out there. I go out, and he doesn't have any money. Fucking bum. Was oh, he trying to get a free wash? Should've given him the spit wash, yeah, motherfucker. I, <laughs> I gave him I gave him to put your car in reverse and get the hell out of my face. <laughs> well, so you don't get to drive through the car wash if you if you're not paying. No way, no, I make him do a really annoying maneuver to get out. Well yeah, bro. Teach these bums. Simple, you know? Don't leave home without your pocket change, motherfucker. A lot of the times, if they don't stop and wait for me, I just tell them to leave. What do you mean, don't stop and wait? Well, it's not like, you know, there's... I hear, I, I, oh. I, I, I could describe it. If they so just pull like, in, track, like... You gotta drive, yeah. Yeah. Because they could do a lot of damage with that. Yeah, shit. well, so if someone just rang, rags in and uh, steps on, on the wrong pedal, man, they'll fuck up the thing, won't they? Yeah, and that's like, you know, a, million. a car wash costs a, million. a couple million dollars. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Top Gear did something, didn't they, where the set fire to one? And it had just... <laughs> I don't that one. A car caught fire in the car wash or something, and it had just been built. It was like a brand new car wash. Oh, no. Oh, I can't... I hate knowing so much about a fucking car wash. It's, it's such, it fills my brain with stuff I really don't care about. It'll humble you, man. You know, your fucking wax and your fucking polish. You know, do you know the difference between wax and polish? It's weird. I don't get it. Yeah. But there's a difference. What is the I difference? Mean, just the, the base of like, the way the chemicals are made. So you, you stuck only the finest quality waxes? No, we, uh, we are the cheap car wash. All right. The affordable. Yeah we, the yeah, we have the worst stuff, but it's seven dollars. It's like three quid for a car, or four quid for a car wash. Yeah, that's juicy, man. For sixteen hundred quid, I could get two thousand dollars, man. You know what I mean? Make a real trip out of it. Yeah, man, that's it. Uh, I'll, I'll probably. You, I'll take you to. I'll, I'll take you to where the first spree killing happened in America. Fuck yeah. Dude, it happened right here. Great state of Jersey. One sec, some motherfucker just rang me and it put me on silent. One sec. Motherfuckers should know that I'm not in town no more. Get the fuck up off my line, bitch. Hitting you up, hitting you up for weed. Yeah, uh, for onions, bro. You know, I, I was in the onion game. Oh, yeah, trapping the onions. I know that game. Yeah, man. Bring a tear to your eye, you know? <laughs> I, was about, I was trying to come up with a crying joke. Yeah, boy. Shrek and shit. Onions of layers, bro. <laughs> is Shrek as popular over there as he is over here right now? Oh, I ain't heard of him in a good while, bro. Oh, dude, Shrek is all the rage over here. The chicks love me because I look just like Shrek. I, I have a, a Polish rapper, mate, that looks like Shrek. But, like, he actually does. <laughs> I'll, I'll send you a picture of him. His name's Dumbly. Then someone made a diss song about him in Poland saying that he looks like Shrek. And like, you can tell it offended him because when I asked him what the, the words meant on the diss track, it's like, it, 
He didn't want to tell me. <laughs> Bless him. Quillaba. <laughs> Ask the Polish guy if he knows Dumbly. I don't think he's going to know Dumbly. Bro, is Dumbly's like, got some cloutage back home. Or he'll, he'll at least know hidden form if he's into like Polish rap music. I don't think he is. You, you've never conversed with this guy. How do you know? No, he loves country western music. Oh, yeah? Yeah, me and him like fucking jam out to Willie Nelson, the red-haired stranger. Yeah. <laughs> all I listen to is country western music these days. Yeah, man, you told me. The rest of it's all gone to shit. I mean, I love Billy yeah. Ray Cyrus too. And, and yeah. Little Nas X. <laughs> hey, how's it going today, man? Package two, you got it. Thank you. And 12's change. No crap. Oh. Drive on, huh? Yeah, what was, what was that guy doing? Just buying wax? Alright, neutral, no brakes. You have a good one, man. So how many people go through your thing a day, man? Uh, well, they put me out to pasture recently. I'm working at the slow one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, today, in the three hours I've been here, I've had three months. Fuck yeah, man. That's, a, oh, that's yeah. a good investment on a million dollars. <laughs> What's that? Like, no commission and I'm bored. 22 bucks. What, what do you mean commission? Do you get commission off stuff that you sell? Yeah. So that guy is operating at a loss for you today. The guy who owns the car wash is yeah. operating at a loss for about three months. Shut the bitch down, man. Or how, yeah, at the least. Summer is just not... Go on. Uh, the summer is a really bad time for the fucking wash, man. Nobody, nobody get. Everybody does it on a, you know, on their own. Yeah, because it's so nice and shit. Ah, uh, so yeah, yeah. the the bad mumps, he, he has good mumps to make up for, sort of thing. Yeah, in the winter we'll get like eight hundred cars a day. Yeah, that's crazy. Seven cars. Yeah, so good day will make up for a week's worth of bad days, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, like a good day is like you know six hundred cars. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, like, but the ten cars, seventy dollars. He only needs to do twenty cars to sort of cover you for a day. I'm guessing. I get paid like. Uh, what do I get paid? I gotta do some math here. I don't. I ain't pocket watching, bro. I don't care to know that shit. The Jewish man inside me, though, does want to know. But the man that I'm trying to train myself to be knows not to ask. Yeah, that's how they get like most like. Criminal sociopaths is like through um, through deceit. Yeah, and they won't even tell him what it's about. Like, and this guy had killed his entire family, and yet they had him in an interview talking for an hour and a half before they even addressed the situation or before he even asked, "What am I here for?" This is when they're like quizzing him properly, and he's like, "I think that maybe something bad's happened to him or one of them," and then like they just keep going further and further in with it. You know what I mean? Get all the yeah, alibis and shit. Over here, oh yeah, they can't they can't legally lie to you in England, you know, like they can in America. Alright, neutral and no breaks. You have a good one, man.